of the 39 categories of work on Shabbat, 38 are implied, but one is made explicit in Parshat Vayakel. Lo ta'avru esh b'chol moshvotechem b'yom ha-Shabbat. You will not ignite a flame in your dwellings on the Sabbath day. Why does this one get laid out so clearly? Well, some of our commentators say it's because lighting a fire is a basic human action for all of human history. It's an easy thing to do. It doesn't take much to get that fire going. Our ethical commentary of the Shnei Luchot Habrit says that the word fire, while of course we mean a physical fire also with being prohibited on Shabbat, that it implies the ability of a destructive force of strife and anger that On Shabbat, we also leave behind those pieces of human nature that are so easily ignited because on Shabbat we are working towards a world that is me'en olam haba. It is a taste of the world to come. We are trying to build the world to be our ideal on Shabbat. And so we are looking for a world without strife, without anger, without destruction. This Shabbat I ask that you join me in a prayer for those who are currently in a war zone in the Ukraine, that we pray that their Shabbat may also be one that ends strife, that ends the destructive forces, and one that is mo'en olam haba, one that is full of peace and serenity. I use this prayer written by my colleague, Rabbi Rafi Rank. Eloheinu velohe avotenu, our God and God of our ancestors, may all the good people of the globe, of our global community, know the truth of truths, that we have come into this world not to fight, not to hate, and not for greed, territorial conquest, or the spilling of blood, but only to recognize and know you, to permit us, the finite, to revere you, the infinite, and for a fleeting Though precious moment, let us live in harmony. May the leaders of great nations be those who protect the miracle of life and not trample upon it in their folly, their vanity, their illusion of power, or their inflation of their own petty egos. May the leaders of great nations be those who use their influence and power to create and not destroy, to protect and not endanger life, and to realize the promise of the Torah that life needs to be lived not in the shadow of tyrants, but beneath the protective care of a loving God. May it be your will that war and murder disappear from the world so that nation shall not lift up sword against nation and neither shall they know war anymore. Let us say, Amen. May our prayers be heard and answered. Shabbat Shalom.